Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today I have a short but powerful chapter I want to read from Anthony Norvell. If you're struggling right now to gain that wealth and prosperity that you so desperately desire, I want to give you 10 steps, 10 easy steps that you can follow to acquire your desired fortune. Anthony Norvell does an amazing job in a short chapter from his book, Think Yourself Rich, in summarizing 10 steps. And using these 10 steps, we'll expand on this further. This is a short chapter. It's super simple. There's 10 simple things you can do that you can create wealth and prosperity in your life. Anthony Norvell was an amazing author. We've covered him many times and read several of his books. He was particularly good about teaching the law of attraction in reference to acquiring your prosperity and desires in a particular way. It was hopeful. It was an inspirational and you always come away with it feeling like anything is possible. And that's what I want. 10 positive steps up the golden stairway to your desired fortune. In the lives of more than 10,000 successful men and women I have studied, I have found that each used the following 10 positive steps up the golden stairway to their desired fortunes. Consciously or subconsciously, these people were guided up that golden ladder of dreams that leads to fame and fortune. You too, can follow in their inspired footsteps and automatically achieve your desired goals of money, power, social prestige, love fulfillment, intellectual triumphs, and financial security for your family and yourself. Money magnetism can be built by constant concentration and practice. Each day, invoke one or more of these 10 positive forces to magnetize your mind and direct you up that golden ladder of dreams which brings success and fulfillment. Step 1. Emotionalized Desires You probably have often said, if I only had a million dollars, I could do anything I want in life. This is a desire, and when you express it casually, it has little effect on you or your destiny. However, if you think or say with emotional intensity, I need money to pay off my mortgage and give security to my family, or I want money so I can give my children an education, or I would like money to be able to buy a comfortable home for my family, you are invoking the power of emotionalized desire. The emotions have been given to man to be used for power to accelerate the mind's and body's normal functions. Every time you emotionalize your desires and think a thought with intensity, it instantly sets up reactions in your autonomic nervous system and triggers glandular reactions that give you the physical power to achieve that which you desire. The emotionalized desire of man to fly like a bird led to our stupendous achievements in creating the airplane and reaching out to the very stars in our quest for new horizons. The desire to communicate over long distances led Marconi and Alexander Graham Bell to invent the wireless and the telephone. The desire to find new worlds led Columbus on his perilous voyages of discovery. The desire to give humanity new sources of power and energy led to the splitting of the atom. Always back of every great achievement, there is this tremendous force of emotionalized desire. Repeat each day for at least a month until you have built habits of thinking in terms of emotional desire, the thoughts you wish to express about the things you want in life. I desire money to educate my children. I desire fame and fortune so I can better serve the world. I desire to invent an object that can benefit humanity and also make me rich. 
I desire intellectual knowledge to better create something of enduring value. I desire my own business so I can give better products and services to the world and also accumulate money to build security for my family in the future. I desire the creative talents of writing, painting, composing, chemical discoveries, inventing, or any other talent you wish to develop so I may bring beauty and good to humanity. Step number two, creative imagination. When man first discovered gold in the earth, in ancient times, it meant no more to him than rocks or other metal. It was only when someone through his imagination began to visualize using the shiny gold metal for ornaments, jewelry, and adornment that gold became valuable. When primitive man lived in caves, there were trees all around, but no one had the creative imagination to visualize building a home from the branches. First, someone had to have the imagination to visualize a stone or metal axe with which to cut down the trees from which to build a home. Your creative imagination is one of the most important steps to take you up the golden stairway to your desired fortune. Each day, for 15 minutes a day, exercise the power of your creative imagination by doing the following exercises. Imagine yourself writing a story, plot it, Think up the characters from everyday people you know. Write down a short synopsis of what the characters are going to do. From this simple script, you may evolve a story that can bring enjoyment to millions of people and also bring you a fortune. Go into the area of your imagination to expand your creative powers. As another mental exercise, sit quietly for a few moments and imagine what it would be like to receive $100,000 from a lottery ticket. Even if they do not have lotteries in your state, this is only a mental exercise. See yourself going on a shopping spree, buying all the beautiful things you have long dreamed of. What would you buy first? A new car? A color TV set? A down payment on a home of your own? Or new furnishings for your apartment or house? Run the pictures of what you would do with the money through your imagination. This stirs the creative faculties and causes them to release ideas of how you can make the money to obtain the things you desire. Step number three, have faith in yourself and your talents. Faith is a miracle working power. If you believe that you can make a big success, you will be able to summon up the powers to achieve its accomplishment. Faith in selling things by mail made a fortune for Sears Roebuck. Faith in rubber built the Goodrich and Goodyear empires. Faith in healing drugs created the Liggett drug stores. Faith in the power to beautify women with her products led to Helena Rubinstein's success in the field of cosmetics. To increase your faith in yourself and your talents, program your subconscious mind with the following positive statements. I have faith that I can achieve a great destiny. I believe I can own my own business and make $50,000 a year or more. I have faith that the $5,000 will come to pay my debts. I believe I have hidden potentials for greatness and I now overcome all feelings of inadequacy and inferiority. Repeat these positive programming statements just before you go to sleep at night. Say the ones that fit your needs several times and feel with positive emotion the full impact of what you're programming. A man who was in the educational system in Philadelphia heard that they were trying to find a new supervisor of schools in New York City about 15 years ago. The job paid a salary of 35000 a year, which was excellent in those days. He applied for the job and received it. Other educators in New York City, who were as highly trained as he was, complained bitterly that he had won the job and they hadn't. The 
The simple fact of the matter was that not one of those involved in New York City had faith in himself, and no one had actually applied for the job. It went to an out-of-town educator who had faith in himself and his abilities. Step four, have tremendous enthusiasm for whatever you are doing. In a recent television program on the lives of the four Rockefeller brothers, one of them remarked that if a person likes his work and enjoys doing it, he can become successful. Do you face your day's work with enthusiasm and joy? If not, then it is not your life's work and you'll never become rich through your job. If you can do so without incurring financial problems, give it up and get into work you really enjoy and can be enthusiastic about. Step number five, develop curiosity about life and the things that could make your life more productive and interesting. Curiosity has led to many great discoveries throughout history. Burbank was curious to know what would happen if he grafted slips from orange, lemon, and grapefruit trees on one citrus tree. He discovered the tree would bear all three species of fruit. From this discovery came all his discoveries in the field of horticulture that produced improved strains of fruits and vegetables that have benefited all mankind. Benjamin Franklin was curious to know what would happen if he sent a kite up into an electrical storm with a key attached to the string. From this came the harnessing of electricity to drive man's motors and bring into being our great industrial age. Study the lives of people like Galileo, Columbus, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Pasteur, Edison, Burbank, Rockefeller, Morgan, Vanderbilt, Onassis, John Paul Getty, and others in past ages and in our own modern age who have achieved greatness and made fortunes and discovered the secrets they used to amass wealth. Step number six, have the courage to dream big and dare to achieve more than ordinary people do. Cecil Rhodes, who founded the Rhodes Scholarship, was a tubercular given up by the doctors when he was a young man. He had the courage to leave England and go to unexpected Africa to regain his health. Without money and without help from a living soul, he began to carve an empire for himself out of the vast continent. Not only did he regain his health, but he soon discovered a diamond field that made him rich. Then he began to buy up hundreds of thousands of acres of land and he planted 50,000 trees on his vast estate, which included a gigantic mountain and a lake. He said of wealth, no one should think in terms of a dozen of anything. He should think in terms of thousands, millions. Only in this way can he achieve the big things he dreams of. Dare to dream big. Have a concept of owning your own home of buying land that will make you wealthy in the future. Write down on a piece of paper the sum of one million dollars and on it these words, I now build my consciousness to receive big things, a big fortune, a great destiny. I project the sum of one million dollars in my future. Keep this paper where you can look at it two or three times a day until its programming is stamped upon your subconscious mind. You do not need one million dollars to be financially secure or happy, but holding this big sum in consciousness makes it possible for you to achieve varying amounts that will give you complete security for the future. Step number seven, exercise your will to succeed daily. Set small daily goals that you can fulfill, such as writing letters, thinking of new projects, interviewing prospective employers, learning a new word, studying a foreign language, starting a novel, a poem, or a song. Anything that you feel will exercise this will to succeed. Your will is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it grows. There is a will to live, a will to succeed, a will to love, a will to power, a will to social reciprocity. These are mental forces that must be daily exercised to overcome the opposite polarity of failure, sickness, 
weakness, and loneliness. The will to fail is so strong in most people that it influences their every act in life. To overcome this negative magnetic force, exercise the will to succeed each day by doing something that takes an act of will. If you smoke and wish you didn't, make it a habit to smoke a little less each day. If you spend too much money, force yourself to go without spending any that entire day. If you waste time by watching too much television, force yourself to spend an hour of your time doing something for self-improvement. Step number eight. Use your time and energy wisely and carefully, for time is the golden substance of life and money. You have only 24 precious hours daily. Eight hours are for work. Eight hours for sleep. This takes up 16 golden hours a day. You have eight precious hours left to spend as you wish. Entertainment, television, viewing, and social activities may take up four of these golden hours. You still have four hours left in which to develop your mind, study a course that will prepare you for a new occupation, or to concentrate on methods for increasing your income. I was once on a plane going to Athens, Greece, and sat next to a young man about 25 years of age. During that long flight of about 11 hours, I noticed that he had a briefcase at his feet filled with various types of books. I peeked over his shoulders while he studied these books intently. Finally, I talked to him and discovered that he was preparing himself for a teaching job at the University of Athens. He had kept up this method of study for several years while he educated himself and at the same time kept a full-time job. He crowded his education into evening courses at a university in New York, and now he was eligible for a teaching position at that early age. This young man will achieve his life goal through his wise use of his time and energy. He planned his life so there were few wasted moments in it. I knew that he was on the way to complete goal achievement. If your education was interrupted, don't use it as an excuse for failure. There are excellent night schools that cost nothing but your time and energy. Attend these and study any course you wish. I know a very excellent woman artist in New York City who started taking an evening course at the Art Students League where she paid a modest tuition. In two years' time, this woman was doing fashion designing for a very prominent dress manufacturer and making a very good salary. Step 9. Practice being generous and unselfish. The hand, or the heart, or mind that is closed never gives anything to the world, but neither can it receive anything. To obtain maximum benefits in life and truly magnetize your mind centers with money awareness, adopt a generous attitude toward life. Don't be penny-pinching and miserly. It's good to build habits of thrift and saving, but don't let them degenerate into scrimping and denying yourself the good things of life. A woman who came to my lectures in California told me once that she had been saving a purple silk dress for 35 years so she would have something beautiful in which to be buried. After coming to a few of our lectures, she learned that one must not live for such events but utilize everything one has, get rid of things one doesn't need, and by creating a vacuum, nature rushes in to fill it with something else of value. She told me that she went home one night after a class and decided to take out the purple dress and begin to wear it. When she unfolded the tissue paper in which it was wrapped, the beautiful silk dress fell apart where it had been creased all those years in her bureau drawer. Practice giving something away daily. It doesn't have to be money or anything of intrinsic value. Give better service in your job. Give smiles of encouragement to those who are discouraged. Give praise and kindness and consideration. Give love when someone does something for you. And if you can give to some worthy charity, your local church or community chest, give something of your substance and your own good will be increased. This law of giving is in the Bible where it says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down and running over. For with what measure you meet with all, it shall be measured unto you. Step 10. Take dynamic action to achieve your dream. Action is the first law of the universe. You can sit and daydream all your life. 
that you will have a fortune and that you will be famous and successful. But if you do not take the first step through dynamic action, it is doubtful that you will get anywhere. There is a saying from ancient China, a journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step. Take that first step today to achieve your dreams of fame and fortune. If you want to write a great novel, don't expect to do it in one day or one month, but begin with a sheet of paper on which you write your title and a few beginning words. Your subconscious mind will soon come through to help you, and every time you sit down to write this power will take over and shape your sentences and write for you. Ernest Hemingway programmed his subconscious mind to write only 500 words a day on whatever book he was working. He would sit down at his desk at 6 in the morning and stay there until those 500 words were finished. Then he would do other things for the balance of the day. In this way, he accomplished more than most writers who sit down occasionally and then let other things interfere with their writing. Do the same thing if you want to paint great pictures or invent some object or compose a beautiful song. Sit down and go into meditation. Letting your mind rove over the many possibilities until you select a theme for your work. Then, let your subconscious mind take over the actual work. Form a daily habit of facing your creative tasks every day at the same time. If you want to magnetize your mind for more money, give some time daily to studying things relating to money. Points to remember. 1. Use the emotion of desire to magnetize money and achieve great destiny. 2. The great achievements of history were achieved through emotionalized desire. 3. The six creative and magnetic statements program into your subconscious mind fame, power, and riches. 4. Remember the vital importance of building a creative imagination to shape the future destiny and attract money, houses, lands, jewelry, and other possessions. 5. Use the dynamic power of faith to magnetize your mind centers with concepts of wealth and success. 6. The power of enthusiasm releases creative energy for building a fortune and achieving your desired goals. 7. Dare to dream big to achieve the great destiny you desire. 8. Develop your will to succeed. 9. Utilize the precious gold of time for achieving money. 10. A young man I met on a plane going to Athens changed his entire life by utilizing his time constructively. 11. Be generous and unselfish in your drive to fame and fortune. And 12. Take dynamic action and begin now to do the great things you desire. And this concludes 10 Positive Steps Up the Golden Stairway to Your Desired Fortune. This short but succinct chapter really captures 10 powerful things you can do that I have done in my own life that have led to riches and fortune that I promise you, if you even take upon one of these steps, they will lead you to some level of wealth and prosperity. You have to have a desire that's emotionalized. You must want it and you must have emotion behind it. Not desperation, but it's something that you must want enough so that you have the emotion and desire to motivate you to do it. You must use your creative imagination. By being creative and using your imagination, all things are possible, as we have discussed so many times on this podcast. You must believe in it, which is the third step, having faith. You must be enthusiastic about it. Check out my episode on enthusiasm, as Napoleon Hill discusses. The fifth step is to develop curiosity about things. You got to be curious and looking into things, be interested in things. It will lead you to money. The examples given, Benjamin Franklin or Burbank, you have to be curious and you will find things that will lead you to greater success and prosperity. You have to have the sixth step, which is courage, the courage to dream big. Don't just be thinking about something small, some way to make 10 bucks, or 15 bucks. Think big and have the courage to know that you can take that chance to do the things you want. 10X your goal. Take it to the next level. The seventh step is exercise your will to succeed. Try little steps, little goals that you have to achieve every day. Exercise your will over those things. 
Do those things on a regular basis and your willpower increases regularly. The eighth step is using your time and energy wisely. Time is the key fundamental element. If you want to be successful, don't waste your time looking through social media or just simply watching TV. Take that time and apply it towards your goal. The ninth step is being generous, giving, being unselfish. When you give, it comes back to you. And the tenth step is taking action towards achieving your dream. You have to take action. Even it's a small step. After this episode, I want you to do one thing. One thing that will lead you to what you want. These things are easy and simple, I know. But they must be reiterated on a regular basis because sometimes we wallow in hopelessness thinking, this is impossible. We get caught up in the world, the world that tells us we can't do these things. But you can. Through 10 easy steps, emotionalized desires, creative imagination, faith, enthusiasm, curiosity, courage, willpower, time, generousness, and action. That's all it takes. Take what you want right now and apply these steps and you will find yourself on the golden stairway to the fortunes of your life. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com. Check out my art at www.newearth.art. Please put a like on this video so people can find this video that need the wealth and need these suggestions. Put a comment and tell me what affirmation that you're using. Tell me what you desire. Put a comment and I will look at that and I'll imagine for you. And welcome to The Reality Revolution.